بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أستقى الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الحدي حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ظلالة وكل ظلالة في النار أما بعد Sorry about that, brothers. I was having an issue with uh, my microphone for some reason wasn't being detected <coughs> on the computer. So, inshallah, let's continue from uh, where we left off last week. And that was where we completed uh, the explanation, the Sheikh completed the explanation of the meaning of the first part or the first part of the Shahada from the two Shahadas, the first Shahada. Which is Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Yeah. Or we say an Nashadu an la ilaha illallah. Um, so we completed the explanation of that. Then the Shaykh moves on now to uh, the second part of the testification, which is on Ashadu an Muhammadan Rasulullah. That we testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the uh, Prophet Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's what we'll be covering today, inshallah. We'll probably complete half of that lesson and then we complete half, uh, we complete this section uh, in the in two lessons from now, inshallah. So then uh, the Sheikh, <clears throat> he says, وَدَلِيلُ شَهَادَةِ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قَوْلُهُ لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِدْتُمْ حريصٌ عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف الرحيم وأدلة شهادة أن محمد رسول الله كثيرة من الكتاب والسنة والمؤجزات الباهرات الدالة على رسالته صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن الكتاب هذه الآية يقول تعالى لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريصٌ عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف الرحيم so then the Shaykh, he begins and he says, so the evidence for the the second testification is the ayah that we read. And the translate and the translation of the meaning of the ayah, we go to that ayah. Give me a second. It is in uh, Surah, Surah, Surah Tawbah, verse 128. So if you go there, if you go your computer or your phone, you can have a look at yourself. If we go there, just give me one second. Right. If we go there and if you read the the translation of the ayah, then it is, Verily there has come unto you a messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from amongst yourselves, i.e. whom you know well. It grieves him that you should receive any injury or difficulty. He, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is anxious over you to be rightly guided, to depend to Allah and beg him to pardon and forgive your sins in order that you may enter paradise and be saved from the punishment of the hellfire. For the believers, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is full of pity, kind and merciful. So that's a, a, a clear uh, um, ayah there. And, and the translation is, is uh, perfect as well. Um, and to help us understand what we're going to discuss today, inshallah, what the Shaykh is going to explain to us, inshallah, today. So then the Shaykh continues on from there and he says, so... The evidence of the second testification that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a messenger of Allah. Then he says that the the evidences are many. There's many many evidences from the Quran, from the Sunnah of the Prophet, and from the miraculous uh, miracles um, of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yeah. And then uh, the Sheikh he says, uh, then he moves on, and he says, and then he goes back to the ayah. That we mentioned, it says, "Lakad jaakum rasulun min anfusikum." To the end of the ayah, which we've uh, read the translation of, and so he continues, and he says, "Fahadi shahada tu min Allah lihada rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam bil risala wa bayan sifati." So he says, "This is a testification from Allah subhanahu wa taala for this messenger, i.e., the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, with regards to the message he's been sent with, 
and his voice being charged with and the clarification of his of, of these attributes. So then the Shaykh continues and he says, Qawluhu ta'ala laqad ja'akum alam hadhi lamul qasam fafiha qasam al-muqaddar taqdiruhu wallahu laqad ja'akum. There's some grammar here. I'll do my best to explain. It can be difficult to explain in English. But I'll, I'll do my best. <clears throat> so then the Shaykh says, he says, uh, the speech of Allah the Most High, laqad ja'akum. So he's going to explain now, uh, do the tafsir, the exegesis of, 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 of this ayah. Laqad ja'akum. He says that this lamb, the lamb that is that we see here in laqad. Here, if you look at the cursor, laqad, laqad ja'akum. The lamb here, is what they call what is called in Arabic Lamul Qasam. And it has um a predefined uh qasab or swearing as in when you swear when you swear by something when you swear like an oath like that uh then it means that Allah as indeed Allah has sent to you has sent to you yeah then we carry on qad so basically qad here when when you see the word or this harf one says word it's a harf when you see qad anywhere and then it follows a um a past tense verb like in this situation then it, it, it it's basically it's to it's for assurance and emphasis it's emphasizing yeah emphasis and then Ja'akum. Then the Shaykh says Ja'akum. That's been sent to you or, or came to you. Ayyuhan Nas. Hada khitab li jami'i nas. Li anna risalatahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aamatun li jami'i thakalain al ins wal jinn. So then Ja'akum meaning came to you as in came to all of you. Meaning the people. He's come to the people. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa come to the people. Yeah. And this... It's, and and this speech or that was being said is to everybody is for everyone because the message of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is for everyone for all mankind and jinn for all mankind and jinn then we move on to the next part of the ayah rasulun where allah mentions rasul and the shaykh says huwa min هو من أوحي إليه بشرع وأمر بتبليغه سمي رسولا لأنه مرسل من قبل من قبل الله سبحانه وتعالى. So رسول we all know what رسول means messenger but the Sheikh breaks it down and he says the one who receives revelation this is a رسول the one who receives revelation and is commanded with spreading that revelation with Spreading the message, doing the tabligh of it, and so this person is called a Rasul because he is a messenger from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah sent him as a messenger to the people. Min anfusikum, so from your own selves. As we go back to the ayah, the tra- if you remember the translation of the ayah, min anfusikum, from your own selves, from yourselves. The Sheikh says, what does that mean? He says. A من جنسكم من البشر وليس ملكا من الملائكة وهذه سنة الله سبحانه وتعالى أنه يرسل إلى البشر رسلا منهم من أجل البيان ومن أجل أن يتخاطبوا معهم ولأنهم يعرفونه لو لو أرسل إليهم ملكا ما استطاعوا أن يتخاطبوا معه لأنه ليس من جنسهم وأيضا لا يقدرون على رؤية الملك ملك لأنه ليس من جنسهم من رحمته سبحانه وتعالى أن أرسل إلى الناس رسولا من جنسهم بل ومن العرب ومن أشرف بيوت العرب نسبا من بني هاشم الذين هم أشرف أنصاب قريش وقريش أشرف أنصاب العرب فهو خيار من خيار so then 
the Sheikh, he says, so min anfusikum. He's explaining this, min anfusikum. That is from your own selves. The Sheikh says, i.e., from the same species, you know, from, he's a human. From you, humans, basically. And he's not an angel, for example. He's not an angel from the angels. And the Sheikh says, this is the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That he sends to humankind a messenger from them own selves in order to clarify what they've been sent with and also in order that um that they may speak with one one another and that the that the message can be clarified and that they know they send so uh, Allah sends somebody to the people that they know the sheikh says if uh if uh, Allah had sent uh, an angel, for example, the people, the humans, they wouldn't be able to speak to him or speak to that angel. And they wouldn't be able, uh, because they're not from the same species. And also, that they're not, they don't, they're not capable of seeing an angel as well. Humans, as well as humans, they're not able, we're not capable of seeing humans in their, uh, uh, sorry, not, we're not capable of seeing Angels in their original form, as as you know, because not from the same species, not from not uh, an, an angel, of course, is not human, like us. And the Sheikh says also from uh, uh, Allah's mercy, Subhanahu wa Taala, that He uh, sent uh, to the people a messenger from them own selves. And even so, rather than that, even from the Arabs, so. The uh, Prophet is from the Arabs and he was sent to the Arabs and he was sent to everybody other than the Arabs as well but even from that specific point initially you know he's Arab himself so he was sent to the Quraysh and then and also everybody and also just so th that we can clarify the point of that he was known and trustworthy as well and so those people around him knew that and he was from the uh, the, the most noble of the uh, tribes of the Quraysh, uh, uh, Bani Hashim, yeah, Bani Hashim, uh, and they are, uh, you know, the most noble uh, of, of the Quraysh, uh, the lineage. Um, that's what the Sheikh mentions here. And so everybody knew the Prophet Sallallahu and they knew his character, and they knew his lineage, and they knew his tribe. And they knew where he was from. So the Sheikh asks us a question. Uh, he asks us a rhetorical question, a rhetorical question. And he says, "So if they didn't know him, how how would they believe him then? How would they, if they didn't know him, they, how would they believe him?" So this is a a question that's already answered for us before after reading what we've read. And even if it was the case of he came with who didn't speak the language the people that I came to didn't speak their language how would they understand this speech so this is clar uh, clear now the sheikh has cl uh, uh, clarified it to us and then, and then he quotes uh, the sheikh he quotes the ayah again from surah tawbah part of the ayah um, and if we go to that part of the ayah we can read this and he, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is anxious over you to be rightly guided, to depend to Allah and beg him to pardon and forgive your sins in order that you may enter paradise and be saved. Yeah? And and that the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is, 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 he strives for our benefit. Yeah? So, if we carry on, the Sheikh says, فَقَوْلُهُ Aziz. يعني شاق عليه and the Sheikh says Aziz here so if we go back to the ayah if we go back to the ayah we're talking about grief it grieves him that you should receive any injury or difficulty yeah and it's to do with this grief that the Prophet Sallallahu has for his ummah that you know he feels for his ummah that if anything would harm them as in the ayah, translation of the ayah. So then the Sheikh says, Ma nitum. He says, Ma nitum. Ya'ni ma yashoku alaykum. Al anat ma'nahu 
التعب والمشقة والرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم يشق عليه ما يشق على أمته وكان لا يريد لها المشقة وإنما يريد لها اليسر والسهولة so then ما عندتم meaning that and also what, what hurts and grieves his ummah right what, what, what hurts and may grieve his ummah from tiredness and hardship etc and the Prophet ﷺ does not want that for him or he doesn't want that for his ummah either and it grieves him that that would happen and that the shaykh clarifies there and then we continue وَلِذَلِكَ جَاءَتْ شَرِيَةٌ جَاءَتْ شَرِيَةُهُ صلى الله عليه وسلم سهلة سمحة قال أو سهلة سمحة قال صلى الله عليه وسلم بؤثت بالحنيفية السمحة قال تعالى وما جعل عليكم في الدين من حرج So then the Sheikh he says and so for that reason the Sharia the Islamic law or the law that the Prophet was sent with is easy it's easy and it's facilitating and so the, in the hadith of the Prophet this is from Sahih Muslim, I believe. And also uh, um, from uh, Ahmad uh, as well. Uh, that Where the Prophet said that I was sent be, uh, with Al-Hanifiyya, Al-Islam upon Tawheed, isn't it? Al-Hanifiyya, Samha, ease, with ease, easy. With ease. And also, if you go to uh, this ayah that's mentioned from Surah Al-Hajj, verse 78. If you go to that, Surah Al-Hajj, verse 78. Um, and if you go to the part of the ayah, let me just find that part of the ayah for you. Yeah, here we are. We'll just read it from the start. And strive hard in Allah's cause as you ought to strive with sincerity and with all your efforts that His name should be superior. He has chosen you to convey His message of Islamic monotheism to mankind by, in, by inviting them to his li- religion Islam and has not laid upon you in religion any hardship and has not laid upon uh, and has not laid upon you in religion any hardship so that clarifies that point as well Alhamdulillah then the Sheikh mentions another ayah وَقَالَ وَقَالَ مَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيَجْعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ حَرَجْ and Allah doesn't want that he makes any hardship for you. That's a rough trans- uh, translation or rough, rough meaning of the ayah. Allah doesn't want any hardship for you or doesn't want to make any hardship for you. And that's clarified in the previous ayah as well, as you can see. So then the shaykh says, فَشَرِيَتُهُ سَهْلَةٌ تَتَمَاشَى مَا قُدْرَةِ النَّاسِ وَاسْتَتَعَةِ الْمُكَلِّفِينَ أو مكلفين وَلَا, تحمل ولا تحملهم ما لا يطيقون. So then the Sheikh says, as you, as you can see, that the Sharia, the Sharia, this Islamic law that we have, uh, that the Prophet ﷺ came with, is easy. And it, and it goes with the people. It, it walks beside the people. It's with the people side by side. Uh, and, it, you know, it's, it's, it, it doesn't over, it's not over um, sort of um, uh, burdensome, should we use that word? It's not burdensome. Rather, it's ease and it, it where, the people who have been charged with this duty, the Muslims, then, you know, they are able to carry out that and it's not a burden upon them and it's ease and facilitation for them. So then the Shaykh continues and he says, وَلِهَذَا كَانَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ يُحِبُّ لَهُمُ التَّيْسِيرِ وَمَا خَيْرٌ وَمَا خَيْرٌ وَمَا خَيْرٌ بَيْنَ أَمْرَيْنِ وَمَا خَيْرَ بَيْنَ الْأَمْرَيْنِ إِلَّا اخْتَارَ إِلَّا إِلَّا اخْتَارَ أَيْسَرْهُمَا مَا لَمْ يَكُنْ إِثْمًا وَكَانَ يُحِبُّ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ بِالْعَمَلِ وَيَتْرُكُهُ شَفَقَةً بِأُمَّتِهِ يَتْرُكُ الْعَمَلِ وَهُوَ يُحِبُّ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ بِهِ مِنَ الْأَعْمَالِ الصَّالِحَةِ مِنْ أَجْلِ أَنْ لَا يَشُقَّ عَلَى أُمَّتِهِ هَذِهِ مِنْ صِفَاتِهِ أَنَّهُ يَشُقُّ عَلَيْهِ مَا يَشُقُّ عَلَى أُمَّتِهِ ويسر أو ويسر بسرورها ويفرح بفرحها ومن ومن كانت هذه صفته فلا شك أنه لا يأتي إلا بالخير والرحمة صلى الله عليه وسلم. So then the Sheikh says, he says, and so that's the reason 
that the Prophet you know, and that's why the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you know, loved for his ummah, loves for his ummah a taysir, facilitation and ease. And he didn't choose between two affairs, except that he chose uh, the one that was easier and more fac- uh, more facilitated. Yeah, and be easily facilitated. That which wouldn't fall into sin, of course. So the Prophet Sallallahu always, you know, uh, uh, being merciful and being compassionate and thinking about his ummah and not wanting difficulty for his ummah. And so even, it says, the Sheikh says, and, and that he, you know, وَكَانَ يُحِبَّنْ يَأْتِي And he loved, you know, to uh, come with uh, uh, deeds uh, w- though he left, that 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 were left. Uh, why? Because of that compassion and care for his ummah. Yeah? So leaving off uh, 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 an action that he loves, and that it comes with it from uh, actions or, or righteous actions in order that we don't become overburdened in terms of caring for us and not overburdening us. And this is from his characteristics. And that he doesn't, you know, that he doesn't grieve, that he doesn't, you know, that he's not, you know, grieving in terms of doesn't grieve over us, but doesn't make things hard for us. And make making it hard for his ummah. Rather, he, he what he wants, he's pleased with when his ummah is pleased, yeah. And you know, it makes him happy that his ummah uh, is happy like that, yeah. And so the sheikh says, "Woman can have these sifat to So the sheikh says, "Whoever's uh, uh, whoever's attributes were well, like the attributes that we mentioned here, for no doubt that this person is only comes with goodness." And mercy. These are the characteristics that a person has. Then you know that he always comes with good, all that which is good, and all that which is mercy. And then the Sheikh he moves on to the next part of the ayah, the original ayah that we read at the start of the lesson, and he mentions Harisun alaykum, Harisun alaykum. So if we go back to the ayah ourselves. And if you read it, Verily there has come unto you a messenger Muhammad Wasallam from amongst yourselves, whom you know well. It grieves him that you should receive any injury or difficulty. He, Muhammad Wasallam, is anxious over you to be rightly guided to repent to Allah and beg him to pardon and forgive your sins in order that you may enter paradise and be saved from the punishment of the hellfire for the believers. Yeah? So, so we go to that. Harisun alaykum. And that part of particular ayah that uh, it grieves him that you should receive any injury or difficulty, and he's anxious. So that is anxious. I would say that for us, anxious for us to do good and to be saved and to be victorious and to reach the ultimate goal of paradise. And the Sheikh says, "I he says, a Allah hidayatukum wa ikrajukum min al-zulumati ila nur wa lidalika kana yatahamal al-mashaq fi da'wat al-nasi talaban li hidayatihim." وَإِخْرَاجِهِمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ حَتَّى قَالَ اللَّهُ لَهُ لَعَلَّكَ بَاخِئٌ نَفْسَكَ أَلَّا يَكُونُوا مُؤْمِنِينَ أي لَعَلَّكَ مُهْلِكْ نَفْسُكَ مهلك نفسك أَنْ لَا يَكُونُوا مُؤْمِنِينَ مِنْ أَجْلِ الْحُزْنِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا تَحْزَنْ وَلَا تَحْزَنْ عَلَيْهِمْ وَهَذَا مِنْ كَمَالِ نُصْحِهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفُ الرحيم. So we just stop there. So then the Sheikh says, he says, so he is anxious that for his ummah, you know, with regards to their uh, guidance, that they are guided, that they are taken out from um, darkness and into light. Um, and for that reason, the Sheikh says, for that reason, uh, the, uh, uh, the Prophet would, would carry, you know, this, this, uh, this, you know, feeling grieved, you know, because of uh, wanting good for his ummah and didn't want them to be in loss. And so he would call the people, you know, requesting them to be guided, uh, take uh, and wanting them to be taken out from the darkness and into the light of Islam, uh, up until the point Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned, said about and said, mu'minin." So if we go to that ayah, uh, fi surah al-Shu'ara, uh, 
verse 3 and if we read that it may be that you O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam are going to kill yourself with grief that they do not become believers in your risala messengership and in your message of islam monotheism and so the shaykh mentions here i.e uh, that you're going to end up you know destroying yourself and be, and be uh, uh, that not everybody's becoming a believer and 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 that's causing you um and you are sad sad you're saddened for them so then uh, the shaykh mentions here fala tahzan alayhim don't so obviously this is what allah is saying uh fala tahzan alayhim don't don't be saddened about them and then the shaykh says and this is from uh, the completeness uh, of uh, the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam's uh, advice and then we move on to the next part of the ayah bil mu'minina raufur rahim so if we go back and remind ourselves bil mu'minina raufur rahim and that's towards the end of the ayah and for the believers he sallallahu alaihi wasallam is full of pity kind and merciful and rauf uh, the shaykh says rauf min ar-rafati wa hiya ar-rafaq wal-lutf wa hiya ar-rifq wal-lutf you know being kind being soft um uh, and being uh, compassionate i think the word to use compassionate being compassionate this is prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is compassionate rahim merciful wasafahu bil rahmati fa laysa bi ghalid fa bima rahmatin min allah linta lahum walaw kunta fadlan ghalid al qalbi lam fadhu min hawlik so the sheikh mentions rahim he says uh, merciful and is uh, and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, was described by this attribute of mercy so he's not um harsh and the sheikh has explained this in a bit more detail to stay on uh, so the sheikh mentions this ayah next with regards to uh, the rahma mercy uh, from surah al imran verse 158 let's go there So it's the first part of the ayah and by the mercy of Allah you dealt with them gently and had you been severe and harsh hearted they would have broken away from about you. Right so that's the ayah that the Sheikh is referring to. Let's carry on. Kana sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mutawadi'an layyinan ma'al mu'minin yakhfud lahum janahahu ويستقبلهم بال بالبشر والمحبة أو بالبشر والمحبة والعطف والإحسان هذه من صفاته. So then the Sheikh says that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was, you know, humble and soft with the believers. He would lower his wings for them, and he would, you know, you know, receive them. with all that which is good with glad tidings and love and you know uh, that compassion and all that which is good and these the shaykh says these are from the characteristics of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then the shaykh says zakar allah khamsa sifatin fi hadha rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam so then the shaykh says that um allah mentioned five attributes or descriptions characteristics that we find in the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says al ula annahu minkum athaniyatu azizun alayhi ma'nitum athalithatu harisun alaykum ar rabi'atu bil mu'minina ra'uf al khamisatu rahim and this is from the ayah that we read so if we go back to the ayah to the original source of the knowledge of the shaykh taking it from then if you go through this ayah very there has come unto you a messenger muhammad from amongst yourselves whom you know well it grieves him that you should receive any injury number one he the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is anxious over you number two to be rightly guided to repent to allah and beg him to pardon and forgive your sins in order that you may enter paradise and be saved from the punishment of the hell for the believers and full of pity kind of mercy, uh, mercy so so uh, full of pity kind and his mercy for three form five so um we can see that uh, those are um gathered in this ayah those characteristics of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
the Sheikh says, Khamsa Sifat, Khamsa Sifat, or Khamsu Sifatin, Min Sifati, Hadha Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wa Khas Al Mu'minina Bi Ra'fati Wa Rahmati, Li Annahu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Kana Ghaliran, Ala Al Mushrikina, Wa Al Munafiq, Wa Al Mu'anidina, Yaghdabu Li Ghadab Allah, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Kama Qala Ta'ala, Ya Ayyuhan Nabiyu, جاهد الكفار والمنافقين واغلظ عليهم وما ومأواهم جهنم وبئس المصير الرحمة والرأفة خاصة بالمؤمنين وهكذا المؤمنون بعضهم مع بعض محمد رسول والذين معه أشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم. so let's just stop there for a second. So then the Sheikh says, these five, five characteristics that we've mentioned are from the characteristics of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And these characteristics are, they are specific for the Mu'mineen. The Prophet Sallallahu with these characteristics, he was acted out these with the Mu'mineen, the believers, with this compassion and mercy. Because he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was... Um, um, harsh with the idolaters, the mushrikeen, the polytheists, and the stubborn ones, the ones who were stubborn and turned away from the message. Because, because that it would anger him, because they would uh, that would they would earn the anger of Allah by rejecting the message. And uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the ayah that we read, so let's go to the ayah, uh, Surah Tawbah, verse 73. Surah Tawbah, verse 73. O oh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa strive hard against the disbelievers and the hypocrites and be harsh against them. Their abode is hell and worst indeed is that destination. And why be harsh? Because they rejected the message and they rejected the truth when it was made apparent to them and it was clarified to them. This is the reason for it. And then the Shaykh mentions another ayah. And, and, and before he mentions that, he says, and so that's why you find that the Prophet Sallallahu he was uh, compassionate and, um, uh, and merciful to the believers and is specific for the believers. And so likewise that the believers are uh, between themselves are merciful and compassionate to each other as well. So let's go to the next ayah. And this is from Surah Al-Fatih, verse 29. Surah Al-Fatih, verse 29. And if we go there, uh, it's a long ayah, so it's, I believe it's towards the start. Yeah, it's, to, it's, it's at the start. So let's read the starting of the ayah. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. And those who are with him are severe against the disbelievers and merciful among themselves. Yeah. So this is what the Sheikh mentions from this ayah here. So then we continue. Let's continue. So I'll, I'll read the top part here um, first, and then and then uh, we'll uh, we'll carry on. وَمَعْنَى شَهَادَةِ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدٌ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ تَعَاتُهُ فِيمَا أَمَرْ وَتَسْدِيقُهُ فِيمَا أَخْبَرْ وَاجْتِنَابُ مَا عَنْهُ نَهَى وَزَجَرْ وَأَنْ لَا يُؤْبَدَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِمَا شَرَعَ So um, then the Shaykh mentions and the meaning of the second testification that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah then it is it is obeying the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that which he has commanded us and um, accepting that which he has um, and taking that as the truth and that which he has informed us of and staying away from that which he has prohibited us from. So staying away. so these are the three important points here. And that and finally and that we don't uh, that we don't worship Allah except with that which he has come with. Yeah? Following the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam basically. Um, and not doing your own thing as uh, many people do. They're doing they'll just make their own thing up. You can't do that. It's not possible, as we learned in the previous uh, books and 
uh, in the previous lessons with, in regards to this book that the only way your actions are accepted is by uh, sincerity that you worship Allah uh, purely worship and direct all your worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this number point number two uh, 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 and second condition that it's in accordance with that which the Prophet sallam taught us and what he did so we follow the way of the Prophet sallam and how we carried out these acts of worship and with those two conditions met uh, our actions are accepted our good deeds are accepted if we drop any of them nothing's accepted so it's a serious affair so then the shaykh continues and he says so point 20 we reached reached point 38 yeah shahadatu an anna muhammadan rasulullah laha ma'na wa muqtada laysat lafzan yuqal faqat fa ma'naha an ta'tarifa bi lisanik wa bi qalbika anna rasulullah tantiq tantiq bi lisanik wa ta'taki dhalika bi qalbika anna rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam amma at talaffuz bil lisan wal inkar bil qalb fa hadhi tariqatu al munafiqin kama kama akhbarana Allah anhum yaqulu idha ja'aka al munafiqun qalu nashhad innaka la rasulullah wallahu ya'lam innaka la rasuluh wallahu yashhad inna al munafiqin la kadibun ittakhadu aymanahum junna ja'alu aymanahum ja'alu aymanahum ay shahadatihim sitratan aw sitra yastatiruna biha fasaddu an sabilillahi fadalla ala anna an nutqa bil lisan la yakfi so then the shaykh he says here that um, that the testification that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a messenger of allah then it has a meaning and it, and it has it has its meaning and the intention or its purpose it's not the shaykh says it's not just you just just you know you're saying it love that you, that you say and there aren't words that you just say only so the shaykh says that its meaning is that that you um um meaningfully you say on your tongue and you mean it right right and you confess it that's the word you confess this on your tongue and and in your heart that he is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah and that you you know pronounce this on your tongue and you believe it in your heart it's there to uh, your tongue and your heart that he is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the sheikh says as for just you know merely saying the words on your tongue and and uh, and and disavow, uh, disavowing or rejecting it in your heart then this is the way of the hypocrites as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed us about them by his speech and the ayah that we read here it was from surah al-munafiqun the first two verses so let's go there surah al-munafiqun the verse the first two verses when the hypocrites come to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they say, we bear witness that you are indeed the messenger of Allah. Allah knows that you are indeed his messenger and Allah bears witness that the hypocrites are liars indeed. They have made their oaths a screen for their hypocrisy. Thus they hinder men from the path of Allah. Verily, evil is what they used to do. So that's a description of the, of, of the, of the, of the uh, hypocrites. Yeah, and the Sheikh says that they made their, uh, you know, their, their iman or their belief or whatever they, 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 they as mentioned here, they have made their oaths, their oaths, uh, a screen, as mentioned in the ayah as well. And so they've obviously been uh, blocked from the way of, uh, from the path of Allah, and they blocked others as well. The Sheikh says, وَكَذَلِكَ إِتِقَادُ الْقَلْبِ مَعَدْ مِنْ نُطْقِ بِاللِّسَانِ لِمَنْ يقدر على على النطق أيضا لا يكفي فإن المشركين يعلمون أنه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لكنهم يعاندون كما قال تعالى قد نعلم إنه لا يحزنك الذي يقولون فإنهم لا يكذبونك ولكن الظالمين بآيات الله يجحدون فهم بقول بقلوبهم يعترفون بالرسالة ويعرفون أنه رسول الله لكن منعهم الكبر ومنعهم الإناد 
من الإقرار برسالته وكذلك منعهم الحسد كما عند اليهود وعند مشركي العرب وكان أبو جهل عمر بن عمر بن هشام يعترف ويقول كنا نحن وبن هاشم متساوين في كل الأمور لكنهم قالوا منا رسول وليس منكم رسول من أين نأتي برسول فلذلك أنكروا رسالته حسدا لبني هاشم ويقول أبو طالب في قصيدته So we'll just stop there for a second before I read that poetry um, So then the Sheikh says like that Believing in your heart only And not testifying on your tongue And reciting that on your tongue And mentioning on your tongue Then that uh, And one who is capable of reciting on his tongue Then this isn't sufficient either So the opposite isn't sufficient either um, And the Sheikh says Indeed the polytheists uh, of Mecca uh, uh, For example They knew that he, that he is the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam However uh, 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 um, But they were stubborn And they didn't say They were stubborn and didn't say Didn't say on their tongues As Allah said in the Quran The speech If we go to uh, Surah Al-An'am verse 33 We know indeed the grief Which their words cause you Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam It is not you that they deny But it is the verses The Quran of Allah that the Zalimun, the polytheists and wrongdoers deny. Yeah? So then the Sheikh says, the Sheikh says, with their hearts, they confess, their hearts confess to the messengership of the Prophet Sallallahu And they know that he is indeed the messenger of Allah. However, uh, their arrogance and their stubbornness has prevented them from uh, affirming it on their tongues. Yeah, as a, as a, this is the reason their stubbornness and their arrogance, uh, uh, um, and also from uh, from um, uh, hasad as well, um, jealousy. So the Shaykh gives the example of jealousy here, and he says, uh, likewise, he says jealousy. Uh, uh, for example, uh, in the Yahud, like the um, uh, the Jews and uh, the polytheists. Uh, uh, of of the Arabs, you know the the, the pagans, the 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 polytheists there, uh, and he mentions here the Sheikh mentions a benefit. He says, and uh, that was for Abu Jahl, and his name is Abu Jahl, and his name uh, Amr ibn Hisham confessed that, and he he confessed as well to this, and he said, we were Banu Hashim, uh, the uh, the 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 uh, uh, Banu Hashim. Yeah, Uz and Banu Hashim said we were equal in every affair, in all of the affairs we were equal. But however, they said from us is a messenger, and and not from you is a messenger. So from us there is a messenger. You don't have a messenger, but from us is a messenger. And then he said, Abu Jahl, he said, from where can we get? From where are we going to get a messenger? You know, it's not possible. So he said that. So the Sheikh says for this reason. Uh, they he uh, they disavowed the risala the messengership um, um, of the prophet sallam of the prophet who was from bani hashim of course because of jealousy and then here is some uh, um, of the uncle of the prophet sallam um, uh, 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 some lines of poetry here from the uncle of the prophet sallam as you know he knew about the risala but he didn't say on his tongue and he, he believed in his heart he knew it was the messengership that the Prophet ﷺ was a true messenger but didn't say on his tongue as you know he died upon kufr so the Shaykh says وَيَقُولُ أَبُوْ طَالِبْ فِي قَسِيدَتِهِ so he says here and, uh, and uh, Abu Talib in his uh, qasida in his uh, poetry he says وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْتُ بِأَنَّ دِينَ مُحَمَّدًا مِنْ خَيْرِ أَدْيَانِ الْبَرِيَّةِ دِينًا لولا الملامة أو حذاري مصبة لوجدتني سمحا بذاك مبينا So basically meaning that uh, uh, what the Sheikh has mentioned above what the Sheikh has already mentioned above this is the meaning here that he, he confessed the Abu Talib confessed he said you know uh, that, the, that the deen of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the religion of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam it is the best of religions to mankind and to all creation It's the best of religions for all creation If it wasn't 
of the you know being you know blameworthy and those warnings and the shatam and all this that came what the sheikhs mentioned earlier he, he said that you would indeed you would find me you know on his deen and clarifying it you know so uh, uh, it's basically what what the sheikhs mentioned above so the sheikh says ya tarifu bi qalbihi bi risalati muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lakin man man'athu al al hamiya الجاهلية لقومه فلم يكفر بدين عبد المطلب الذي هو عبادة الأسلام فهم يعترفون بنبوته بقلوبهم فلا يكفي الاعتراف بالقلب أنه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بل لا بد أن ينتقى بلسانه. so then the sheikh mentions here we'll just finish in a few minutes إن شاء الله then the sheikh mentions here he says that so they, you know he, he confessed he confessed uh, of the Prophet's messengership in his heart. However, what prevented him uh, from mentioning on his tongue and actually following it uh, was uh, this, the ignorance of his people and, it, and, 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 and not wanting to disbelieve in the religion uh, of Abdul Muttalib. Yeah? And, the, yeah uh, and, and, and obviously, which is, why is it? It's um, uh, worshipping idols, it's polytheism. So, so the people they they confess with the, with his messengership, or they confess his messengership with their hearts, right? With with their hearts. But the sheikh said this is not sufficient that you. Uh, uh, it says it's not sufficient that you um, confess just with your heart alone that the Prophet Sallallahu is a messenger of Allah, but rather you also have to pronounce it on your tongue and say it on your tongue, yeah. Then the Sheikh says, ثُمَّ لَا يَكْفِي النُّطْ بِاللِّسَانِ وَالْإِتِرَافِ بِالْقَلْبِ بَلْ لَا بُدَّ مِنْ أَمْرَ الثَّالِثِ وَهُوَ الْإِتِبَاءِ قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فِيهِ فَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِهِ وَعَزَّرُوهُ وَنَسَرُوهُ وَاتَّبَعُوا النُّورَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ مَعْهُ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ حَتَّى لَوْ نَصَرَهُ مِثْلَ أَبِي طَالِبْ وَحَامَ دُونَهُ وَهُوَ يَعْرِفَ أَنَّهُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ لَكِنْ لَمْ يَتْ تبعه فإنه ليس بمسلم حتى يتبع حتى يتبعه ولهذا قال الشيخ ومعنى شهادة أن ومعنى شهادة أن محمد رسول الله طاعته فيما أمر وتصديقه فيما أخبر واجتناب ما نهى عنه وزجر وأن لا يعبد الله إلا بما شرع. so then the sheikh mentions here he says so so then it's not sufficient that you pronounce on your tongue and that you believe and confess it in your heart that you believe on your tongue and in your heart. Rather, it's incumbent um, for, uh, for a third uh, affair. And that is following the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, following him. As mentioned in the Quran here, uh, Surah Al-Araf 157, let's go there. Surah Al-Araf 157. Towards the end of the ayah, just find that part. Give me one second. So those who believe in him, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, honor him, help him and follow the right, follow the light, the Quran, which has been sent down with him, it is they who will be successful. Yeah. So uh, that's the translation of the meaning of the ayah. And then we continue. And then the Sheikh mentions here, it says, until, if I skip something here, one second, no, I haven't. So then the Sheikh mentions, uh, oh, it says, up until, uh, for example, uh, uh, Abu Talib. For example, look at Abu Talib as an example. We take Abu Talib as an example. He helped him. You know, he helped the Prophet ﷺ. He helped the Prophet ﷺ and protected him, uh, you know, and did all of these good things for him. And that he, he, and he knew that the Prophet, uh, the Prophet ﷺ is the messenger of Allah. However, he didn't follow him in his footsteps. And therefore, because of this, he's, he's not a Muslim, and nobody is a Muslim up until the point that they follow the Prophet ﷺ. And this is and this is why the uh, the Sheikh uh, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah said uh, that in the meaning of the testification that the uh, that Muhammad ﷺ is the messenger of Allah. What is it? It is to uh, be obedient to him. So uh, be obedient to him in that which he commanded us with, and to uh, accept. Uh, that which he has informed us of uh, uh, with full certainty and that uh, we um, 
um, uh, that which he has prohibited us from, that we stay away from. Yeah, and that uh, uh, and that we don't worship Allah except with that which He came with in terms of the le the legislation that Allah sent Him with, the laws that Allah sent Him with. So then the Sheikh says, "Fala ولا بد من اتباعه صلى الله عليه وسلم ويتلخص ويتلخص ذلك في هذه الأربع كلمات التي ذكرها الشيخ رحمه الله. So then the Sheikh mentions here. So therefore, it's incumbent and uh, and important, yeah, um, that um, uh, that we confess uh, with regards to the messengership of Allah. Uh, sorry, the messengership of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Excuse me. The, that we confess the messengership of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Openly and outwardly and inwardly as well And believing in our hearts as well And uh, it's obligatory that we do this And it's incumbent that we follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as well So this is the third point that we follow him And the Sheikh says that this is summarized In four uh, words or four points That he mentions below here uh, That he says that the Sheikh Rijal author mentioned May Allah have mercy upon him But we'll conclude here now And inshallah Um uh, next week we will continue from here where we left off and hopefully then we'll finish this section of the of this book inshallah we'll continue where we left off um i just wanted to share one last benefit uh for us because it's yom of uh yom al arafa so if i can one or two minutes of your time uh one of the recommended duas uh, that the brothers have been sharing uh and been shared to me as well uh, and uh, no doubt this is the waqt of istijaba the time of uh, of uh, the duas being accepted as well yeah in the final hour of maghrib yeah so we're in that time now after we finish this lesson i mean yawm al arafah and the best one of the best of the duas to say in yawm al arafah is allahumma aslih uh, aslih li uh, allahumma aslih li dini alladhi huwa ismatu amri wa aslih li dunyaya allati fiha maashi wa aslih li akhirati allati fiha maadi وَاجْعَلْ لِلْحَيَاةَ زِيَادَةً لِي فِي كُلِّ خَيْرٍ وَاجْعَلْ لِلْمَوْتَ رَاحَةً لِي مِنْ كُلِّ شَرٍ And that's recommended uh, a dua to mention. And uh, uh, I think I've sent that as well. The brothers have sent it around with the translation as well, which you can look at. Anybody who doesn't have the translation can message me privately. Inshallah, we'll send a message there. Uh, obviously, I don't want to delay the lesson any longer than it's already been. So, Inshallah, I'll see you guys next week. Barakallah fikum. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت واستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته